For the last 10 years, my part in digital media has really been on the creative side, uh, focused on like rich media, interactive video, social. Republic Project was one of those conundrums when I was looking for a way to more efficiently uh, produce a set of banners for a client Home Depot. I was literally doing like uh, 124 banners a week and I owned a small creative shop and I had this idea, what if I could enable my designers instead of my coders to build banners like my coders? It would be more efficient, it would be quicker. And so Republic Project was this idea of how do we create an HTML banner without actually having to do any coding. And then the rest just kind of opened up. Where it got interesting is the social landscape was just exploding at the time. And when you think of social, it's really a mobile landscape because that's where we all dial into our Facebook news feeds and Twitter things. So basically, Republic Project became a banner creation platform. So it's a CMS that anybody could log in and create a set of banners. But then it really became a social media and mobile platform. And it's this long journey that we've taken for the last three years. And it's kind of exciting because now you can pop out a really complex banner in a matter of like five minutes. It's a, so, I mean, it's happening in our landscape. You think about it, you hear a lot of buzzwords, right? Like exchanges, programmatic, efficiencies. Um, I think you said something earlier, adapting to the environment. Well, all of these tools are around making our lives easier, which isn't really exciting to the end consumer. Uh, but it's exciting to us because we can then spend more time thinking about what it is I want to do in my campaign. That's a theme I keep hearing at, at the Videonomics. So I can spend more time thinking about content because I can produce that content so much quicker. And I can put it out on a platform like social media where it will be absorbed instantly. The Republic Project AdFire platform, which sits inside Seismix MDX um, overall platform, is integrated in, allows advertisers to say, hey, you know what? There's this topic that's trending on social right now. Uh, I'm a big surfer, so it's around surfing in Portugal. Let's go create an ad. Let's slap like our banner and logo against it. Let's pull in these really cool feeds from Twitter and let's put that out across to all of our constituents. That can happen within an hour. You can do everything I just talked about. Create a campaign from scratch and put it out onto social media within an hour. You could never do that before. Five years ago, you'd have to work with Yahoo or MSN and you'd have to go through proper channels and you'd have to build all of these cool banners that have to be pre-approved and the back and forth process literally killed great ideas. We no longer live in that kind of landscape. Digital advertising or advertising in general can just move at the speed of light. I guess if I was to give one piece of advice to brands and agencies as they're trying to connect with their constituents and their consumers is necessarily don't play it safe. Be afraid to make mistakes. Be afraid to be honest about those mistakes. You know, for the first time we're dealing in a medium that you can react and act so quickly. You, you hear this a lot like um, share quickly, share often, uh, that's very true. And if you get it wrong, apologize and share again. Uh, a lot of people wait till a topic's already trended to say something and they want to react and ride that bandwagon when they should be like, hey, we really think this is cool. 